Chapter 42 Then the man led me out of the temple courtyard by the way of the north gateway. We entered the outer courtyard and came to a group of rooms against the north wall of the inner courtyard. This group of structures, whose entrance opened toward the north, was 175 feet long and 87 and a half feet wide. One block of rooms overlooked the 35-foot width of the inner courtyard. Another block of rooms looked out onto the pavement of the outer courtyard. The two blocks were built three levels high and stood across from each other. Between the two blocks of rooms ran a walkway seventeen and a half feet wide. It extended the entire one hundred seventy-five feet of the complex, and all the doors faced toward the north. Each of the two upper levels of rooms was narrower than the one beneath it, because the upper levels had to allow space for walkways in front of them. Since there were three levels, and they did not have supporting columns as in the courtyards, each of the upper levels was set back from the level beneath it. There was an outer wall that separated the rooms from the outer courtyard. It was eighty-seven and a half feet long. This wall added length to the outer block of rooms, which extended for only eighty-seven and a half feet, while the inner block, the rooms toward the temple, extended for one hundred seventy-five feet. There was an entrance from the outer courtyard to these rooms from the east. On the south side of the temple there were two blocks of rooms just south of the inner courtyard between the temple and the outer courtyard. These rooms were arranged just like the rooms on the north. There was a walkway between the two blocks of rooms just like the complex on the north side of the temple. This complex of rooms was the same length and width as the other one, and it had the same entrances and doors. The dimensions of each were identical. So there was an entrance in the wall facing the doors of the inner block of rooms, and another on the east at the end of the interior walkway. Then the man told me, These rooms that overlook the temple from the north and south are holy. It is there that the priests who offer sacrifices to the Lord will eat the most holy offerings. And they will use these rooms to store the grain offerings, sin offerings, and guilt offerings, because these rooms are holy. When the priests leave the holy place, they must not go directly to the outer courtyard. They must first take off the clothes they wore while ministering, because these clothes are holy. They must put on other clothes before entering the parts of the building complex open to the public. When the man had finished taking these measurements, he led me out through the east gateway to measure the entire temple area. He measured the east side. It was 875 feet long. He also measured the north side and got the same measurement. The south side was the same length, and so was the west side. So the area was 875 feet on each side, with a wall all around it to separate the holy places from the common.